My name is Greg Jakubowski. I'm a fire protection engineer and a fire chief, and I will be presenting a workshop, a pre-conference workshop at the FDIC 2015 on firefighting in mega mansions. A man's home is his castle, so the old cliche goes, uh, but when castles were built thousands and thousands of years ago, they were built much differently than these large homes are being built today. Uh, the home behind me is about 10,000 square feet. There was a home on this site that was less than 7,000 square feet that unfortunately was devastated by fire in 2012. That house had six bedrooms, five and a half baths, uh, and was equipped with a residential sprinkler system. But unfortunately, residential sprinklers don't extend into the attic, and that's where the fire started at this particular home. Uh, the home presented some unusual challenges to the first due fire company, uh, including uh, there is no public water in this immediate area. So we needed to use uh, some alternative water sources to fight this fire. Uh, and at the end of the day, the home was, was pretty much a total loss. But we're used to dealing with problems like that in this area. Uh, in this neighborhood alone, there are 44 homes very similar in size. And in the whole area here, there are hundreds of homes either currently built or under construction uh, that are 4,000, 6,000, 8,000 square feet and up. There is a home in a neighboring community uh, that is so large it has three separate two-inch residential sprinkler risers to protect uh, the close to 20,000 square feet in that particular residence. Uh, again, these types of buildings present very, very challenging situations. Uh, not only the water supply, long hose stretches, but occupants of the home that may be in far-reaching portions of the home we see bedrooms, third-story bedrooms that have one stairway uh, in a remote section of the home, uh, basements that are set up as living quarters uh, or entertainment centers where people may be in, in a corner of the basement. Uh, so the search and rescue problems uh, can be significant. Uh, while firefighters in Calvert County, Maryland were searching a home of this size uh, that was on fire in 2011, the fire extended very rapidly, resulting in 10 of them having to bail out windows and four of them receiving significant burns from that fire. So we're presented with more and more of these in not only the urban environment, but the suburban and the rural environment of these types of homes. Uh, and we want to work with you to help you understand how to handle a fire in one of these uh, mansions uh, that have uh, large rooms, not necessarily segregated easily, fire is able to move quickly uh, through different parts of the building uh, and the lightweight construction in today's world uh, is, is what's being used to build these particular homes. Uh, we'll be collaborating with the students in the class. We have some other experts uh, that may be able to be present and will contribute to this workshop uh, and I look forward to being able to share with you some of our lessons learned both in this area as well as regionally and nationally uh, in firefighting in mega mansions uh, to make sure that you are prepared should you be faced with one of these incidents in your community.